So this is the third of our um, videos creating simple coasters. So the first one that we made was just using two pieces of fabric. It's great for putting under vases, um, using on your picnic table, somewhere where you don't need to protect from heat. So that is the first one. The next one we did, we just added a layer of wadding. This means that you can now use it under a cup of hot tea, coffee. Uh, it gives you some protection of heat against surfaces. So our third one that we're going to do is one like this. This one we've sewn on the inside and we've turned out and finished with top stitching. Just again using two pieces of fabric and a layer of wadding. So what you need is you want some cotton wadding, five and a half inches square, and you want a top and a bottom fabric, coordinating fabric, to create your um, coaster. Again, they're five and a half inches square. So this time when we're layering them up, go to layer one fabric down on a, the top, face down. Oops. So this time we're going to layer them up with our first fabric on the um, surface, face up. With our second fabric you want to put on top of that, face down, so you've got right sides together. This fabric doesn't have a right and wrong side. But um, if yours does, make sure you've got your fabrics right sides together and then we're going to lay it on there. That's what we're going to lay our wad in on top of there. We're going to make sure that's all laid up straight and we're going to take it to our machine and half an inch in, we're going to stitch all the way around, leaving a turning gap on one side. You don't want to leave that gap too small because it makes it stronger, uh, a struggle to turn it through um, and we don't want to make it too big because we don't want to put strain on our seams. We're going to start and end with reverse stitches to give that extra stability. So I'm going to take that to the machine and we're going to stitch those together. So I'm going to start near to the edge. We've got stitch length is two and a half. I'm going to start with some reverse stitches. And go forward and you want to finish half an inch from the edge and you want to make sure that your needle is in before you rotate. Then you're going to do exactly the same down to the other side. needle in and rotate just now there's a couple of stitches there we go just make sure that every time when you get to that corner that your needle is down on my machine I can set it so that when I stop the, the needle is down, if yours isn't, just do make sure your needle is down before you rotate. And then this is the last side, so I'm just going to go a little way in, then I'm going to do some reverse stitching, and then I can cut off my thread. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to cut into the wad and make sure you're not cutting the fabric. I'm going to trim from where the opening is. That just makes it easier for finishing it off. I'm going to do diagonally into where the end of my stitching is. And then I'm going to just snip that off along that edge. That means that we've just got a bit of a gap there for when we're turning. So we're going to turn it through. We're going to snip off our corners. That will make turning through simpler. Just want to make sure that we're not cutting 
through our stitching. And where our turning hole is, we can turn our coasters through to the right way. Just easing the corners out with my fingers, get a nice shape on the corner. And there we are. If you have any problems with that, you can just use I use the end of my um, um, picker with the lid, so I'm not using the sharp point, and just ease those corners out. little bits. So where we've trimmed it, the fabric just folds under the edge of the wadding. Just fold that straight and what I'm going to do is just press that nice and flat so your seams are out and then we're going to do some top stitching. So when we press it you want to make sure your edges here are even. Now we're going to do some top stitching, which means we're going to do a layer of stitching close to the edge, and this serves for two purposes. One, it gives a decorative finish and it holds our coaster all in place, but it also serves to close this edge here. So I'm going to start inside the edge, um, inside the corner. I'll come around and finish that. I'm stitching as close as I can to that edge. So it's probably about an eighth of an inch away. I'm going to start with a couple of reverse stitches. Again, when you're stitching, you want to make sure that when we get to the corner and turn, that your needle is down. Because the corners are going to be thick, you might find your machine will appreciate going a bit slower. Do that around all sides until you get back to where you started. Corner. Make sure your needle is down when you turn the corner. And then we're back to where I started. So I'll just overlap the stitching, reverse stitch. Cut off. off the loose threads and there you have a simple coaster. Now the advantages of doing coasters like this to the um, decorative edged ones as you wash the other ones, the edges will soften and become, over time, untidy. This way, you, all your edges are enclosed on the inside. It gives you a firmer finish, a longer lasting finish. Come back when we do, um, release the next video in the series and we'll start doing using um, quilting blocks to create um, decorative coasters. Look forward to seeing you then.